Opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Let's just have those numbers back again, Simon. Um, to just have another re-look at it. And if we just look at that, of course, we talked about wanting to have it simultaneously. South Africa, three wins. They've got the six points. But the question is, can they get to eight points by upsetting England? You'd have to say that would be an upset for now. Australia beat Bangladesh to get to six. If Australia then beat West Indies, well, then it's going to be a log jam on eight points. And that's going to be a bit of fun because that's also England's last game. Yeah, it is. Um, it's a hard one, isn't it? Because I know the Football World Cup, it's it's just a little bit easier to say we'll play these games together. You just don't know which games. I mean, the IPL tried it this year, didn't they? And it just didn't work out because well, the games really, by that stage, unfortunately, the wrong didn't mean anything. Qualified. It didn't mean anything. So it was. it's a hard one to do in a, in a six team format in a four um you know in a four group format for four countries in one team it's easier to do uh because Absolutely. you can get those results a lot similar a lot more uh, close together but in a six team uh six country format uh i just think it's a little bit more difficult so they, and they're not often going to get that last day right with the matchups that they choose so look it's hard but i, I do understand joy's point completely i look west indies are capable they, they're going to be they've got to beat someone They've got to beat one of these top teams at some stage. Australia will be hoping desperately it's not a day that they turn up <laughs> when they play them. Uh, and the, the other thing is you don't want to be a South African side going into that England game thinking, oh, we, this is great. We only want to lose by so much. We only have to lose by this. You know, that's the last thing a South African team needs because you know that they will end up losing by one more run than they needed to lose by <laughs> or something like that. It's the last thing they possibly could need. Is, is, oh, we only have to lose by this much. They'll be out to win that game. They'll be out to win every game. And England, you know, England showed last night that they can be a little bit vulnerable, but they just have such depth. They have massive depth, whether it be batting or bowling. And, uh, you know, the injury to Tymal Mills means that perhaps Willie, depending whether Mark Woods fit or not, will come into the side and makes you think it almost makes them a stronger side. Yeah, it does. The word is that Mark Wood is almost there. And uh, that will make him a contender to get back into the side. Just a reminder here again of what we were talking about. Australia, West Indies on the 6th of November from Abu Dhabi in the afternoon. And then England versus South Africa from Sharjah is the night game. So whether or not the West Indies firstly, of course, overcome Sri Lanka. But that will be a big one for them if they can uh, hold two points of Australia back on that particular day. It will be a fascinating day, the 6th of November when it comes to this group.